The spin theroscope was a very popular toy in early 20th century England that had people putting radium up against their eyes. Sir William Crookes was a chemist and physicist best known for working in spectroscopy and with vacuum tubes. At one point in the early 20th century, he was working with radium when he lost his sample. He couldn't see it on his workspace, but he knew that the radiation this radium emitted excited a zinc sulfide screen, so he moved some zinc sulfide around until he saw it glowing. Then he got sidetracked looking at the glow, though some stories say that he actually spilled the radium on the zinc sulfide and was looking at it through a microscope to make sure that he got all of the pieces. However it happened, he ended up looking very closely at this glow and realized that the zinc sulfide wasn't just glowing. These were actually individual little flashes. It was truly scintillating and it was really quite beautiful. So he decided to showcase the reaction in a small handheld device. What he created was a small brass tube. On one end was a microscopic lens, and on the other end, the zinc sulfide screen. Between them was a very small speck of radium. You could move this little piece of radium forward and backwards, closer or further from the screen with a little mechanism, increasing or decreasing the reaction. Looking through the microscope lens, you could look at the scintillations. He revealed this device at a meeting of the Royal Society, and it was immediately a hit with society types. Having a spin there telescope became a status symbol. But the reaction didn't last forever. Eventually that zinc sulfide screen would stop reacting. It would become worn out after about a year or a year and a half. And there was also the problem of sticking a piece of radium very close to your eye, but no one really knew the dangers. They just really liked the glow.